This video will cover the installation of the LTE communicator, Wi-Fi module, takeover module, isolation module, and wiring of the Vista H3. Before adding any of these modules to the board, ensure the Vista H3 is not powered up. Inserting these modules while the control panel is powered can damage the modules and the panel. Let's start by looking at how to install the LTE module. You can connect the Pro LTE A, Pro LTE V, and if you are in Canada, the Pro LTE CN. These units simply slide onto the wafer on the board, and when installed properly, you will feel a slight snap. Once you have the communicator module installed, install the retainer clip and secure it in place with the supplied screw. If you need to install the Pro LTE A and T, you will do so by connecting that to the connector on the top left of the LTE module. Once you have the antenna connected, change the dip switch to EXT. This enables the LTE module to use the external antenna. Moving to the next wafer connection on the board is the Pro Wi-Fi or Pro Wi-Fi ZW. The Wi-Fi module slides into the wafer just like the LTE module. It's secured to the housing with a small screw that is supplied with the Wi-Fi module. Moving to the last wafer connection on the board is for the takeover module. Just like the LTE and Wi-Fi modules, this module slides onto the wafer. It's secured to the housing with a small screw that is supplied. Once secured, set the rotary switch on the setting associated with the existing wireless and install the antennas. The iBus isolator does not connect directly to the control as the other modules do. There is a small space on the left below the control panel board where the ISO module is housed. Seat the unit in the space and secure it with the supplied screws. Once the ISO module is seated, wire it to the Vista H3 with the supplied harness. Now that we have the modules in place, let's look at the screw terminals on the board. Starting from left to right, you have the zones, bell output, the iBus, power, and earth ground. Any hardwired zones are wired to the first 15 screw terminals. Zone 1 is the connection for two-wire smokes. These terminals support up to 16 two-wire smokes. When the zones are programmed for end-of-line resistor, they must have a 2K, which is red, black, and red, resistor at the end of the wiring. Due to the zones not being wired at the time of the video, we have strapped them out directly at the panel. Access to auxiliary power, if needed, is in the middle of the zone terminals. Auxiliary power provides 10 to 13 volts DC and up to 950 milliamps max. If more power is needed, an external power supply should be used. The current for the auxiliary power includes the current for any iBus devices wired to the iBus terminals. Remember to common grounds between the external power supply and the panel. Moving down the line of screw terminals, any sounders that are being installed will be connected to the bell and ground terminals. An 830 ohm resistor, which is gray, red, and brown, will supervise these terminals. The output provides 10 to 13 volts DC power at 2 amps max. A battery must be installed to the panel to support the 2 amp max current for a sounder because the battery provides the current for the sounder. The following four terminals are wiring terminals for the iBus. These terminals include ground, aux power, and data A and B. Remember that the current for the auxiliary terminals here is included in the current with the auxiliary connections in the middle of the zone terminals. All iBus devices connect to these terminals. The following three screw terminals are the DC power and earth ground. The provided power supply to the panel will connect to the DC positive and DC negative. If an earth ground is needed, make sure that the connection is to a good earth ground, such as a metal cold water pipe, grounding rod, engineering ground location, or locations directed by local electrical codes. Once you have all modules connected and devices wired, you can connect the battery and power up the system for programming. Thanks for watching.